All right, so we have a particle here, and we want to find out how much work is being done, if it's got a force of cosine, quantity pi x over 3, Newton's acting on it. Um, the, the amount of work being done on this is moving from x equals 1 to 2. Interpret your answer. Consider the work done from x equals 1 to 1.5 and then 1.5 to 2. All right, so starting off, we're going to start off with from 1 to 2. So work's going to be equal to from 1 to 2 cosine pi over pi x over 3 dx integrate this stuff we get 3 pi quantity sine of pi x over 3 from 1 to 2 um, so 3 over pi sine of 2 pi over 3 minus sine of pi over 3 yeah. is equal to 3 pi square root of 3 over 2 minus square root of 3 over 2 which ends up being 0 because sine of pi or sine of 2 pi over 3 equals 0 sine of pi over 3 equals or not 0 but square root of 3 over 2 and um, here here's pi over 3 there's pi over 3. It's um, opposite over hypotenuse, so they end up both being square root of 3 over 2. It's 2 pi over 3, pi over 3. 0 newton meters. So 0 work done for from 1 to 2. <laughs> All right, so what happens? Um, do work from 1 to 1.5 so we end up with here so I'm just gonna fast forward a little bit so we have um, from our integral we have 3 over pi x over 3 1 2 3 over 2 um, get 3 over pi times sine over pi over 2 minus sine of pi over 3 and we end up with 3 over pi minus square root of 3 over 2 and we get um, 3 over 2 pi minus <laughs> square root of 3 joules Sorry, I'm kind of laughing. I don't know why. Um, let's work one. So there's zero joules there. All right, so we're going from 1.5 to 2. Um, I mean, again, it's the same thing. You pretty much just plug in for the integral part. So we already found the integral in the very, very first part. Um, so like I said, 3 3 over pi sine of pi x over 3 from 1.5 to 2. And we get 3 over pi sine of 2 pi over 3 minus sine of pi over 2. And we get 3 over pi times the square root of 3 over 2 minus 1. And the work 2 ends up being. 3 square root of 3 minus 2 over 2 pi. That's it for this one. All right, so for this one, um, let's see here. Hold on, let me just make sure. So we got this, this, part 1, part 2. And finally, um, when you add both these up together, because we divvy them up, um, well, summing them up, so work one plus work two is equal to three over two pi, 
d minus square root of 3 plus 3 over 2 pi square root of 3 minus 2. What we end up with is 0 joules. So work is equal to work 1 plus work 2, and we ended up with 0. So uh, that, that proves that because we add these together, they equal to 0. It's just the flat out integral of the work is equal to dividing it up. So. Um, there's your solution so it just proves that we could have originally just taken the original integral because when you take the integral sometimes um, if you span it out it cancels it out but because we divvied this up it just proved that yeah the work is zero this could be something like a spring potentially